What do you think tap water is? It's a gay bomb, baby. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. When I was a young boy, I took an interest in a lot of things, like riding bikes, being healthy, getting girls, all these things. I was terrible at it. So I had to suffice with something. That's right, my brain. If I couldn't succeed in any of those things, I at least had to look and sound smart, which also went terribly, but I at least knew facts that most people didn't know. For example, did you know that in Malaysia, it's illegal to name your child after a fruit or a color or an animal or demon? Isn't that wild? Y you don't care? Okay. But I did used to watch a ton of fact videos, such as All Time Tens, the Today Show, I had many sources for my facts. And since this pool of useless history facts had entered my brain, I started to raise questions. What if elections are rigged? What if we are living in a simulation? What if my dad pulled out and I'm actually adopted? They're all conspiracy, conspiracy theories. And as a young boy, I was eating these conspiracy videos up like it was a large number nine order. I was so enthralled of conspiracy theory content back then. It had me thinking everything I knew was not true and everything that was not true was true. Now, if you're confused and don't know what a conspiracy theory is, Google it. Plus, you're most likely gonna figure it out the more I talk. All you need to know is that my mind was blown to hear that all major events that happened in our history and that you see on the news was all smoke and mirrors, guys. It was all fake. I couldn't believe it. I could barely process it. I was in shock. These theories told me that everything has an ulterior motive to tricking us to think a certain way. Like those trails in the sky by airplanes, there's mind control juice in it. So every time you breathe, Biden is telling you to breathe. Government mind control. Or global warming? Well, it's made by the media to boost up air conditioning sales. Duh! They also could be subliminal messages, like that Lion King scene where all the dust is in the air and then it says S-E-X in the sky, trying to secretly tell kids to do the unholy nasty. Well, not like we needed it back then, because when Nyla was on screen, we was already thinking it. Was well, that just me? Mind control, orchestrated events, secret messages, aliens, all are part of a huge conspiracy. And little old me's main source of getting this Harvard University conspiracy level of knowledge was from Shane Dawson. Now we all know Shane Dawson, he's my favorite African American YouTuber. And he used to make a lot of conspiracy content that I used to love when I was younger. I used to love these kind of videos back then, but not so much me now because, well, Shane is Shane, and as a grown man, I now realize how f***ing stupid these theories are. That's right, I think a majority of conspiracy theories are a bunch of balagna said by boo the fools or crazy people. Or that's what the government wants me to think. It's already in motion. It's like, nah, the reason why most of these conspiracy theories fall flat on their faces is because most of them fall under assumptions with no types of facts supporting it. Like, most government mind control theories, I just automatically dismiss as dumb. I know MK Ultra was a thing and biased news outlets exist because... Well, that's not a theory, but I'm not really talking about those. I'm talking about the theories such as toothpaste fluoride is taking over our head with mind control, which, no. I mean, I would have believed it more if it was brown Listerine that was doing it based on how strong it is, but toothpaste? I don't think so. Or how there's a new world government taking over the world. The Illuminati's in control of us and celebrities are in on it too. They're in the Illuminati taking over the world. And to that theory, I also have to say, no, no, your okay. bubble. How's the world under one secret government if we are willing to go to war with each other over ASAP Rocky? This world is not united enough to be run under one government, let alone the Illuminati. Like, really? You think there's a secret society controlling the world and there's celebrities that are in on it? That That's just stupid. Mainly because these are some of the celebrities that are suspected to be in the Illuminati. Beyonce, Jay-Z, Madonna, Lim Lardashian, Kanye West, Lindsay Lohan, LeBron, and Rihanna. They are all suspected to be controlling the planet. This is stupid, cause, well, first of all, most of them are black, and if the Illuminati really existed, you think black people would be in it? No, they wouldn't. It's just gonna be old racist white guys in that. But yeah, the Illuminati, the New World Order, I don't believe in any of that, but it's not like I don't think the government is perfect and holding no secrets. No, if I actually thought that, I, I would be a bot. In fact, I don't trust the government and I don't even like them really. Like, taxes exist. 
That's already enough of a reason to hate them. And I'm not even gonna give the lizard people theory the light of day, cause that's 100% real it's true you've seen mark zuckerberg nigga is secretly the geico lizard i know it speaking of lizards time travel time travel theories or dimension hopping theories always piqued my interest because when hearing about them i always thought there was a sliver of a chance that maybe i could go back in time and fix my mistakes some of these i actually find interesting like the butterfly effect where if you were to time travel any small thing that is in the past could have a big effect in the future like if you were just to kick a rock in a different direction in the past after time traveling you just change the future into one where you actually get hoes or the ones where there's real old Old time photos and footage of people being suspected time travelers. Example, is this woman in the 1920s on a cell phone? Or is she just crazy? Or this photo too. If you've been studying this subject for as long as I have, you've seen this picture before. It's a 1940s picture with everybody dressed normally for the time. And then there's this guy who looks like he's dressed from the 80s. Now, I don't think this picture is a conspiracy as people think. Because this man is not a time traveler. He's just ahead of his time. This man's fit is so far ahead of everybody else's that he looks like a time traveler. This man in this photo grew up to be Calvin Klein, but you heard it from me first. But I like the time traveling theories. The dimension hopping ones are a lot more weird and complicated. And the most popular of these theories is the Mandela effect. And this one is one of the stupidest theories I've ever heard. The Mandela Effect is one of the worst theories out there. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically saying different realities are merging with ours and that's why we are remembering things differently. Like Curious George actually never had a tail, Monopoly Man never had a monocle, etc. That means the stuff we remembered but actually aren't real are from alternate realities. Now, here's why this is horseshit. How does this equal alternate realities? Do you think the Bernstein Bears or Bernstein Bears carry such a weight to existence that it changes reality as we know it? No, y'all are just dumb. You're just misremembering stuff. I never remembered once a day in my life where Pikachu had a black end to his tail. Man, y'all are just fake Pokemon fans. And most of the examples for Mandela Effect are just us misspelling words. We just assume certain words are spelled how we normally spell them in brands we buy. Like Double Stuff Oreos, it's just one F. Cocoa Puffs is spelled with an A. Skechers doesn't have a T in it. Like, we just assume these words are spelled normally, or at least how they sound. We only thought Looney Tunes was spelled with O's because the word cartoon is spelled like that. This is not no alternate reality nonsense. And the people who actually believe it is, you are the crazy people that I see at my local gas station. I just hate the Mandela Effect theory so much. Speaking of stuff that I don't like, 9-11 predictions the actual event eh. according to these theorists everything that is pre-september 11th in media is a prediction to the attack like everybody in hollywood is just in on it johnny bravo predicted it die hard predicted it the cookie monster predicted it there are several ads cartoons movies prior to the attacks that had quote unquote predicted it even though a sane person would know that all these are just coincidences and most of these predictions are just such a reach like this term to 9 11 prediction that I found on this website that just says, Well, this is it the height limit for trucks. Did the Terminator actually know what the future had in store for us? The film did give us a warning of wrath and impending doom. Is this nigga serious? Yeah, the height limit to the crossing ain't no coincidence. That was put there by Al Qaeda and ISIS themselves. Even The Simpsons predicted it, but they also predicted everything, like literally everything. Do I think The Simpsons staff team are time travelers? No. Do I think they're terrorists? Maybe. Speaking of speaking, false celebrity death conspiracies. God, I love these because none of them make any sense. These conspiracies are basically that certain celebrities aren't really dead and that they faked it because I don't know, they wanted to avoid taxes or something. And I can slightly understand how all these conspiracy theories came to be. You know, Jesus Christ, a very famous person from back in his day, was publicly executed. Then came back out of nowhere, three days later, good as new. I can see why people of today have these theories about these celebrities faking their death. Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, Bruce Lee, all are still alive. That's why you see so many sightings of them popping up. Like, is that really Elvis? Tupac didn't really get shot neither. No, he's in Cuba. I saw him playing Fortnite last week. And Biggie Smalls, he's not dead neither. I saw him at the McDonald's yeah, drive through last Tuesday. Tuesday. This theory also suggests that all these celebrities are living in a private island with each other. Now, that might sound fun, but I know this theory is just malarkey. 
I know conspiracy theories be stupid a lot of the time, but it doesn't mean I throw all of them under the boat. It's like I said earlier, I don't really trust the government. I watch Jake Tron, okay? I know the government are liars. There are many conspiracies that got me thinking, got me thinking deep. Like the 1999 civil trial of Martin Luther King's assassination, where the US government was found guilty of conspiring his death. Why isn't this talked about more? Or, I know this sounds a little goofy, but that Sonic the Hedgehog meme where he talks about the many inconsistencies of the Las Vegas shooting, man, I feel like the FBI is gonna bust down my door every time I see that meme. I do mess with and somewhat believe a good amount of conspiracy theories to an extent. It's just that the most popular ones are stuff like Stanley Kubrick directed the moon landing. There's a lot of them that I do find interesting, but to be honest, most of the ones that I do find interesting, I can't really think of any jokes about them, so I'ma just end it. I talked about most of the ones I wanted to talk about so I feel accomplished and I also did my research for this vid like I watched half of that 10 hour conspiracy iceberg vid but most of the theories were very sciencey and I, I can't read. And I was also gonna make a whole section of the video talking about fan theories from TV shows and movies and how dumb they are but that could be a video on its own and if I did that this video would have taken a million years to make. But yeah conspiracy theories are out there mostly dumb ones but they're still out there so stay woke cheers to us and shane dawson for making this video possible and in conclusion <laughs>